on a cliffhanger where Apollo's not going to die. Next case solving Apollo's murder. No. <laughs> no, don't say that cuz it could probably happen. <laughs> I can see that going any that way. <laughs> not my sweet boy. My sweet boy. We left off on a bit of a cliffhanger. Also, I accidentally broke my headphones. Um, so I'm not going to wear them because one side's broken. <laughs> so if I accidentally talk over any audio cues, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> yeah, <ew. laughs> But let's see Apollo not die, right? Because he's not gonna die. Is this the end? Maybe he should have learned how to swim though, you know? Like, come on. Dirk. I wonder if he made it out. He's gonna die just like your headphones. No! No, it was foreshadowing. Oh. So this is what it feels like to drown. Oh my god, my boy, my sweet boy. My sweet baby. I would have eaten that sushi if I'd known it would be my last meal. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. I feel like I've been through this before. Uh, now I remember. Oh, My baby boy. It was back when all three of us were living in that shack in the mountains. Now Yuta and I were playing by the riverside when we got swept up in the rapids. Ah! Ah! I thought we were goners, but then... Now Yuta! Apollo! Hold on! I'm coming! Dad to the rescue! <laughs> oh, this is so, this is so cute. Oh. And Apollo says that's not his dad. Oh. Oh. That was a close one. Thought I'd lost you two. I'm sorry, Dirk. All right, that's enough now. Didn't I teach you? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Hating on Dirk. <laughs> Dirk, you can't say that. Didn't I teach you that boys don't cry? The boys can cry, Dirk. Boys can cry. <laughs> Thank you, father. <laughs> you could have been killed. But you risked your life to save us. Why? What a silly question. 
What father wouldn't risk his life to save his own children? Yeah, Apollo, he's your dad. Jeez, even if he does say toxic things like that sometimes. Nayuta, Apollo, don't you ever hesitate to call when you need me. Understand? Oh. Hey, Dirk. This isn't forever, right? <laughs> You'll bring me back from America. <laughs> America. <laughs> You'll bring me back from America someday. Right? Of course. Oh, that was him when he was like... 10 years ago, so 14. This isn't forever, right? You'll bring me back from America someday, right? <laughs> Why is it so often that kids in these games call their parents father and mother? My boy is six. <laughs> yes, thank you, father. <laughs> of course, I'll come pick you up as soon as things settle down here. Promise. So, he sent Apollo off to America, but not Nayuta? Nayuta? How old? Nayuta's only like a year older than Apollo. Yeah. This was 10 years ago, so he was only 15, 14. Like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're gonna protect you, but Nayuta, he can die in the war. <laughs> you know, my biological son. Promise. Okay, you promise. Dirk, I waited and waited for the day you'd come and take me home. Aww. But you never came. Aww. That's why I tried to forget about you. My life back in Kurayan. Ah, okay. uh, yes. America, the country known to protect people, especially those who weren't born in it. You know, especially immigrants. <laughs> they love immigrants over here. <laughs> Dirk. Why? Why didn't you... Oh. I'm going to assume Dirk. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I'm assuming Dirk, so we're gonna do Dirk's voice. Uh, low? Uh, Paulo. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. Uh, oh, in the moss cave. Oh, that's such a pretty picture. I wish it wasn't blurry. Apollo, can you hear me? <coughs> oh, there we go. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, that is... That's, like, pretty desktop background material. He's in the Lazarus pit. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the lawyer game, Micah. We're in the Lazarus pit. That is pretty in the moss cave. It, he's like... <laughs> Apollo, your suit's gonna be ruined. You gotta wear that to court tomorrow. Is that gonna be a new background? I'm considering it, cause oh my gosh, is that pretty. D Dirk? Still can't swim, eh? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you... You came back? But why? I said I'd come for you, didn't I? Yeah. But you can't hold me and swim. We're both going to... Stop talking. You'll bite your tongue. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! We're being pulled under! What's going on? Why is this happening? May 6th of question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> hey, we're back in Karain! Uh, where? Ah! You finally came to, son. Get your fill of seawater? Good thing your name's not Neptune, huh? <laughs> Dirk? Oh, 
Hey, he's out of the detention center. <laughs> You're telling me. Check it out, snot's coming out of his nose. What a miraculous escape. Not even some of the escape artist greats could pull that off. What on earth happened? Sorry it took me so long, son. I made it to the ocean, but I figured you still couldn't swim. So I found a local fisherman and had him take us out near the undersea cavern. He tied a rope to me and I came and grabbed you. Then he yanked me back. Oh, so that's what pulled us under with such force. Don't forget about me. I assisted in your escape back too, Polly. I've helped compatriots escape from all sorts of places. Mountain jails, island prisons. <laughs> but an undersea cavern? Now that was a first. <laughs> Dirk, he risked his life for me because you're his son, Apollo. Jeez. Dirk, I'm only alive because of you. The Dursi also make deaths. Disappear from the detention center. I mean, technically she did, because she's the one that brought him his passport. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, you're welcome. I, uh, just did what any father would do for his son. Oh. See, Apollo, he's your dad. Oh. He saved my life yet again. I guess seawater doesn't make for much of a meal. It's cause Polly didn't have any sushi. Oh yeah, I haven't eaten anything since this morning. Jeez. Jeez um. Oh, that's right. Hey, AJ! Dirk had me buy this for ya. Yay. Thought you might be hungry. Ready to have some this time around? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> nom nom nom. <laughs> wow, this is delicious. <laughs> Glad you approve. I'd better get some before you eat them all. <laughs> Just like old times. Dirk used to slice up the fishy cod and we'd all eat fresh sashimi together. He used to talk about all the vitamins and minerals packed in the raw fish. <laughs> hey, by the way, let me see that orb, AJ. Oh, I'm okay. I was wondering if he grabbed it. It'd be so crazy if he's like, oh man, we forgot the orb. The whole reason we went down there. The the orb, the orb to stop the wood. Here you go. Whoa! So that's what it looks like? You found the legendary treasure? Nice work, Polly. Thanks. Guess you could say, mission accomplished. Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. I hope no one gets arrested for murder. With the orb, our revolution can take a big step forward. Let's celebrate the eve of our revolution. We'll get all dressed up and feast till dawn. Yeah. Now you're talking. Time to party. Are we not going to talk about wh whoever it was that pushed us in the cave? <laughs> like, I'm sure whoever pushed us in the cave is probably a murderer. And probably the person who killed, uh, uh, Archie. After all that, I just want to go to bed. Because I'm assuming Archie didn't die by accident. It seems way too convenient. Sure wish Nayuta was here. Maybe one day we'll enjoy times like these together again. Oh, oh. A revolution. If it can bring back those happy days, you could sign me up for Apollo's going to war. He's going to war. Um, I'm guessing Paul. Sorry to interrupt your little party, but I'm here for my crystal. Right, left, right, left, halt. Ugh. Oh, not this guy. Ah, 
It's him again. <laughs> well done! Then again, I always knew you could do it. After all, we politicians must be excellent judges of character. Still, I'm impressed you both made it out of there, alive. Oh, it was totally him who pushed us. A second. You're the one who shoved us into that pit? Yeah. It sounds so bad when you say it like that. All I did was give you a little nudge in the right direction. Dirk, destroy him. So, it was you. Oh. <laughs> you no good son of a- Destroy him, Dirk! Destroy him! Don't look at me like that! The, the crystal of Ami Fei is mine! N now hand it over! Over my dead body. Don't say that, Dirk. Please don't say that. <laughs> Detective, help! Oh, Emma? Yeah, yeah, I know. Emma, don't say you're on his side. We've known each other for so long. Emma? What's going on here? He filed a police report. He claims you're trying to steal his family heirloom. Th that's him! The one with the long hair! Arrest him this instant! Are you kidding me? He's the thief that made off with the Atishin family's most precious heirloom! Well, I suppose I should ask you to come in for questioning. Down at the police station? I think I'll pass. <laughs> After all, Mr. Titian seems bent on having me arrested on theft charges. This is not good. If Dirk gets arrested, he'll be sent back to Corian to face execution. Sorry, but now that I know you have the crystal, or orb as you call it, I must insist. Will you please come with me, sir? Emma! <laughs> Emma, I'm afraid I can't let you take Dirk in. He received the orb from Dr. Buff in a perfectly legal transaction. Is that so? Can you prove it? Of course. This should sufficiently prove that the orb now belongs to Dirk. My attorney's badge. His son. <laughs> um, I agree to hand out the found orb to find dragons if it will come to no harm. Oh no! Oh no! I see where this is gonna go! They're gonna say- they're gonna blame his death on the Defiant Dragons. And then Dirk's gonna get arrested, or Dad's gonna get arrested, or both of them are gonna get arrested. Cause it- that- I agree to hand over the Founder's Orb to the Defiant Dragons if I will come to no harm, and he died. So that's the- that's the clause that they're gonna pull. Oh, I can't- I know it. I know where this is going and I'm so upset about it. It is a hunter- White Wham! I just saw the temperature. IRL. It is a hundred and five degrees Fahrenheit right now. What? What? Oh my god, yeah, this is probably not gonna be that long of a story. Oh my god. Take that! Take a look at this agreement. What do we have here? Let's see. I agree to hand over the Founder's Orb to the Defiant Dragons if I will come to no harm. Mm. It appears to be a perfectly legal agreement. Not so fast. Yep. This is where the clause comes in. That's not the Founder's Orb. It's the Crystal of Ami Fey, which means their agreement is null and void. Oh, that's not the direction I thought that was going. Tomato, tomato. Um, Emma, this is tomato, tomato. It's the same thing. People calling... Just because he calls it a different thing doesn't mean it's not... Whatever. Mm, this is going nowhere fast. You could say that again. Oh. I don't know who this could be. I, 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 I'm gonna pretend it's Pearl. It's probably not, but Pearl's like the only other person we've met here, aside from, a, uh, um, uh, 
Sergeant Buff, but I'm sure it's not him. Then we'll have to go to trial. Right, Apollo? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, it's Phoenix. I did not expect him to show up. <laughs> I just can't. Then we'll have to go to trial. Right, Apollo? Mr. Wright? Daddy! What's with you two? You look like you just saw a ghost. Oh, uh, yeah. Emma mentioned she had seen him around. Oh, did she? I forgot. Um, what are you doing in Crane Village, Mr. Wright? Uh, Mr. Otician has retained me as his lawyer. Wait. You're his... Lawyer? Mr. Wright, why are you serving as Mr. Otician's lawyer? Because he hired me. He needed my help in getting a fair family heirloom back from Dr. Buff. Phoenix, you're not on the side of justice. Phoenix! What the heck? What the heck? And it seems he correctly foresaw that something like this might happen. Are we about to go to court for something that's not murder? That's only ever happened once in this series. And it seems he correctly foresaw that something like this might happen. It's because those shifty insurgents were harassing poor Dr. Buff. Phoenix, you're supposed to be on the good people's side. You're, you were only on the bad guy's side once. What's happened to you? You're a different man, Phoenix, right? A different man. It's because those shifty insurgents were harassing poor Dr. Buff. So I knew I might need a lawyer if things went south. I figured with a celebrated lawyer like Phoenix Wright, I couldn't go wrong. Is this what you came back from Karayan for, Mr. Wright? They got to him in Karayan. <laughs> they changed his morals. It was just good timing. My work over there just happened to wrap up, so here I am. Plus, Mr. Attition is a very important client. Phoenix! He's a bad guy. <laughs> He's the villain, Phoenix Wright. You can't be on his side. We know each other? I've never heard Mr. Wright mention his name before. Mr. Wright, are you sure this is Mr. Atitian's family heirloom? That's my client's assertion. He says it's the crystal of Ami Fei. Apparently, it's the crystal she once used when channeling spirits. Who's Ami Fei? <laughs> she brought Karayanese channeling to Japan, and her descendants brought it here. Her true origins are still rather murky. But what's clear is she is the founder of the Karain channeling technique. Oh, so she's like the one they call the founder in Karayan. The Holy Mother. Wait, Ami Fei is the Holy Mother? <laughs> this means a lot for Maya <laughs> in Pearl, <laughs> whose last name is Faye, by the way, and no one seems to register that. <laughs> I did not expect Ami Faye to be the Holy Mother. <laughs> well, Pearl and Ma oh, Maya's not on our list. Pearl and Maya, it's time for you guys to become queens. Time to take over the regime. Apollo, I don't plan to betray my client's confidence. I may not know all the facts yet, but I do know we won't be handing the crystal over to you. Oh my god! <laughs> Phoenix, right? What happened to you? <laughs> who are you? I don't know who you are anymore. What? Are you saying... I'm really sorry it's come to this, but... Mr. Wright? I don't understand. Let me spell it out then. If you continue to claim that the crystal belongs to your client, then I'll be seeing you in court. Phoenix, 
<laughs> Phoenix. Mr. Wright? Phoenix. 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 Buddy. 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 What the hell? What? What's come into you, Daddy? Nothing. This is strictly business. I wonder if he's being blackmailed. That's my only theory I could possibly think of on why he's acting like this. I don't want to believe it's a sudden character shift. I want to say that it's, um, blackmail. I, I wonder if Mr. Attition here has got something on him, or if maybe somebody's in danger in Korean. I wonder if this has been planned for a long time in terms of the creative process you know, now to have for Paula versus Phoenix, probably. <laughs> Two lawyers from the same firm facing off? What are the odds? I wonder if that's ever happened before. I really- I want- That's really interesting. I wonder if two lawyers from the same firm have ever, like, like gone head-to-head -head in court. It's really interesting. I wanna- I wanna look the, uh, look into that later. I wonder if that's ever happened. I'm sure it has, probably. It's very interesting. What are the odds? Lucky for me, I believe I have the right man for the job. Shut up, you can't make those puns. Only Phoenix can, because he does it badly. It's funny. Whatever you going to do, remember he is your boss. <sighs> How did it come to this? <laughs> Mr. Wright, please don't do this. Apollo, there's no point in arguing about it here. When it's now clear, we're headed to court. That's where we'll find out who the crystal really belongs to. I don't believe it. Am I really gonna face Mr. Right in court? Okay, so here's my theories. My theories are... Uh... Blackmail. He's being blackmailed to represent Mr. Titian. Two, he's doing this literally just to find the truth. Because he trusts Apollo um, to find the truth and prove that it's not um, it's not the it's the same thing or the Founder's Orb and the Ami Fake from Solar the same thing or whatever. And he trusts Apollo enough to work with him to do that. Which is very in character for Mr. Wright. <laughs> Mr. Wright. <laughs> he d I'm not even calling him Phoenix, I'm mad at him. So it could be one of those. Or he just had a character shift and he's a jerk now. Those are the three the theories. I it's probably, thinking on it now, it's probably he trusts Apollo to work with him to figure out the true nature of the orb. That's... My theory, and I'm gonna stick with it. I don't believe it. Am I really gonna face Mr. Wright in court? Daddy? Apollo? No! We can't have our al uh, our agency's talent competing against each other. It's too late, Teresi. The die has been cast. We have to fight for our client's best interests. You guys can't face each other in court. I accidentally gave you guys the same voice. It's gonna be weird. <laughs> <laughs> but but so what's it gonna be Apollo are we gonna have to take this to trial we have to battle Mr. Wright in court the legendary Phoenix Wright who's only ever lost once and now it's on purpose no matter how many trials of his I've watched <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> 
matter how dire the situation, he's always pulled out a win in the end. Not true! Not true, Apollo! He's lost once! <laughs> eh. Twice, actually! He's lost twice! Granted, one time was on purpose and the other is because he accidentally presented forged evidence. But other than that, he's never... He's, He's, yeah, he's never lost. But he has lost twice. Okay? Okay. Can I do it? Can I really take on the man whose footsteps I've been following in? Oh. Oh. I owe it to Dirk to at least try. Phoenix, the main character, is a fucking boss. <laughs> Throw in the tower! <laughs> I can't. <laughs> no, we're not a baby. There's no turning back now. If it's a trial you want, Mr. Wright, I'm more than happy to oblige. I'm ready to fight for my client, even if it means facing off against you. Uh, he's like, oh, I expected you to say no. I was just, this was just a test, Apollo. You're fired. Ah, uh, dang it. Uh, uh hello? Alright. <laughs> I won't be pulling any punches either, Apollo. The kid gloves are officially off. May the best attorney win. Damn. You got it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First daddy, now you? Polly, you're not seriously. Sorry, Trucy. I have to do this. Also, where's Athena? Has anyone checked in on her? She got, she got lost on her way to the airport. Like, is she okay? Apollo? Alright then. I better go prepare for tomorrow. See you in court. <laughs> Daddy, no! Wait! A fine mess I've gotten you into, son. I mean, of all the lawyers we could have faced, it had to be him. He's practically a celebrity in Kuraya now. They're calling him the Fighting Phoenix. He, I, think, I think I have an idea. Oh. Uh, I'll be fine. After all, I've come a long way, too. Who knows? I could even end up winning. There's always a chance. Right? Athena was kidnapped and Paul is keeping her hostage. That's dark. That's dark. You know, this may be a blessing in disguise. And that goes in with my blackmail theory. And so Phoenix might be, be getting blackmailed. Yeah. I definitely think it's blackmail or... Uh... He's um, literally just trying to work with Apollo. I, I, I like the idea of him working with Apollo to find the truth. That that seems very in character for him, but you know, Phoenix has been blackmailed with people being held hostage before. It's nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this may be a blessing in disguise. If this trial proves what we found is indeed the Founder's Orb, then whoever asked Dr. Buff to study it may be revealed too. This is our chance to finally pull them out of the shadows. <laughs> I have a feeling that this episode is going to be very long. Like, it might end up being the longest finale, because I'm assuming they're not going to just do the orb thing. I'm assuming there's going to be a murder at some point. Someone's going to have to die. That's always how these cases go. There's always a murder. So I have a feeling this is going to be a very long case. I'm very I'm excited though. The first step of your revolution, huh? Yes. The revolution to restore Korayan to its former glory and save Nayuta's soul. Dirk. I swear to fight as hard as I can in court to make that a reality. We're gonna win this one. You'll see. I know you can do it, son. Thanks, Dad. It doesn't matter that I'll be up against Mr. Wright. Going up against Mr. Wright. I have to win this for Dirk. 
and for Nanuta. His salvation, along with all of Karayan, depends on it. Also, I'm really curious to find out what um, Phoenix's relation to Mr. Atitian is. Very curious. Very curious. May 17th, 10.08 a.m. District Court. Defendant lobby number three. I see this court going in a way, this trial going in a way, where through, like, discovering the truth, like, what the, actually the Founder's Orb is, if it's the Crystal of Omni Fair, the Founder's Orb, which I'm assuming it's gonna be both. That's gonna be the conclusion. Um. I'm assuming it's going to end up in a way we fi where we find out that, uh, he was murdered. It wasn't an accident. That's how I'm assuming this trial's gonna go. And then we're gonna have to, you know, do a murder case. Just so you know, I'm not going to take sides. Message received, loud and clear. Good, because I don't like this one bit. You and Daddy should be on the same team. S sorry, Trucy. Wow, she's really mad. I'm sorry too, little lady. This is all my fault. Also, wild? This is the first time we've had a uh, defense attorney versus defense attorney <laughs> case. <laughs> Ever. We've never had a defense attorney versus defense attorney. We've had a prosecutor become a defense attorney for, an, for a day. Twice. But, yeah. Never had a defense attorney versus defense attorney. It's very cool. I'm just worried things will never be the same between Daddy and Apollo. If they go through with this. Aww. Her family's breaking apart. Is that all? Well, I wouldn't worry about that. That's the way it is with us men. We may fight, but we don't burn bridges. Damn. I wonder if the Holy Mother is covering up her face, not because of it being sacrilege, if people do see it, but because it reveals something about the royal family themselves. Oh, probably. I could, yeah. It might reveal that she's Ami Fey. That's why they don't have a face. I'm guessing that that's gonna be the big reveal, and then Karin's gonna be like, oh, snap. Wait, the Fey family's supposed to be the guys in charge? <laughs> sure. One minute we're trading blows, and the next we're having drinks together. We're simple creatures at heart. <laughs> I sure hope you're right. And that's why, um... Oh, hey, Athena! She's chill. <laughs> She's here. Um... And that's why, uh, Princess Rafa, why she can't channel spirits, because it's literally not in her blood. <laughs> Every Rafa starts words, I turn to hear words like deaf, deaf, deaf. No. Sorry I'm late, Apollo. Athena, there you are. What happened with you and Mr. Wright yesterday? What did you do to him? You not picking him up from the airport made him go wild. <laughs> He's evil now. He's on his villain arc. Uh oh, uh, about that. I ended up going to the wrong airport. I was waiting there, thinking his flight was really late. Before I knew it, I dozed off. Oh, Athena. My sweet girl. My precious angel. By the time I woke up, it was already dark. I figured something like that had happened. Being late and dozing off are the two things you do best. Damn, Apollo. Damn. Ugh. Guilty as charged. So, then I take it you have no idea what today's case is about? Not a clue. Sorry. Um, what is today's case about, if I might ask? Another lactory mystery? A suspect with a flimsy alibi? Sorry, strike three, you're out. It's a civil case. We take those? <laughs> we take civil cases? <laughs> Athena's like, I only studied murder law. <laughs> I, I am a criminal lawyer, Apollo. 
<laughs> You're a criminal lawyer, Apollo. We've never done a civil case. <laughs> Civil case? Don't say what's that. Don't ask what that is. Please do not want- You are a lawyer, Athena. You went to law school. Please don't ask me what a civil case is. Please don't. You act like I'm speaking Swahili here. It it's just- Yes! It's just the right anything agency specializes in criminal law. Or so I thought. Okay, she's, she's not gonna ask what civil- what a civil case is, thank god. <laughs> like, Athena, please, you're a lawyer. You should know what a civil case is. Yes, we do specialize in criminal law. We take it 99.99% of the time, except for that one time an urn got stolen. <laughs> I was going to cry if she asked. I was gonna be like, Athena, how did you pass law school? You were supposed to be at the top of your class. In... In civil cases, there are no prosecutors, right? Instead, both parties retain an attorney. Yes. Yes, thank you, Athena. That is how you explain... This is how you explain something to the audience, okay? This is how you explain something to the audience without making your character who was the top of her class an idiot. Thank you, game. Thank you for not making her ask what a civil case was. I appreciate the audience explanation. Oh my gosh. Alright, and the other attorney is someone you know very well. <laughs> that was very well done. Thank you, Athena. Really? Who? The trial will begin shortly. Please proceed to the courtroom at once. Don't tell her, Apollo. Don't tell her. It's a surprise. What's the- Apollo, what's a civil case? I think I fell asleep that day. <laughs> Like, if you're gonna have anyone ask, let Trucy ask, you know? The, the, the only non-lawyer here. <laughs> like, come on, come on. Okay, let's do this. Apollo, wait. Who's the other attorney? Don't tell her. Don't tell her. And where is Mr. Wright? He doesn't- Okay. I get asking who the other attorney is. Sure, fine, whatever. Asking where Mr. Wright is? Like, girl, he does not show up to every case. There's been very little cases where all three of us have been together. I think it's only happened, like, once. Okay, Athena? <laughs> no time to explain. Let's go. Uh, okay, right behind you. It's gonna be so weird seeing Phoenix on the other side. I don't know if I can handle it. May 17th, 10.30 a.m. District Court, courtroom number 6. The judge is like, we're here for murder. Day 1, court is now in session. All rise. Oh, there he is. Court is now in session. Uh, oh. Um. <laughs> Uh, is this some sort of practice session? A mock trial, perhaps? Judge, do you not- Judge, do you not know what we're here for? Did you not read the briefing? <laughs> like... Bobby. <laughs> A mock trial, perhaps? Um, no. No, it's not, Your Honor. He's like, we only- So who died? Did the crystal get murdered? I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, it's so weird seeing him from this angle. <laughs> oh, no, Phoenix, you're, you're at... This is not your angle. It's the real deal, Your Honor. Hmm, so then you two have had a falling out? <laughs> I won't have you using my courtroom from that, you know. It's nothing like that, your honor. Exactly. It just so happens that we have different clients in this case. I see. Well, here's to hoping this has no adverse effect on your working relationship. Okay, judge. Thanks. 
You can say that again. I had no idea we'd be going up against the boss today. Oh, are you sure this is a good idea, Apollo? What, do you want us to switch sides? <laughs> Honestly, I'd rather be anywhere but here right now. Well, at least she is here. I'm really gonna need her help. No. Mr. Justice? Oh, you called him Mr. Justice. Yes? Don't expect me to pull any punches just because you're the opposing lawyer. As I said, the kid gloves are off. And come what may, they'll stay off. Damn. Same here, Mr. Wright. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get. I'm sure Phoenix is going to love being the one that, <laughs> that gives us penalties. He's like, I've waited for this day to give the opposing side penalties. <laughs> I have the power now. Same here, Mr. Wright. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get. Damn, I did not see this coming at all. Yeesh, you guys are t really chomping at the bit, aren't you? I don't mind a good fight between co-workers. Just keep this civil case civil. So you knew it was a civil case. And you're still confused why- Okay. Kid in the background is like, Mommy, I want my popcorn. Now then, if the plaintiff would take the stand, we may begin. Oh my god. Right, left, right, left, halt! Noble judge, members of the gallery, good day to you, I am politician. This is but the start of my epic campaign, and you all have the honor of witnessing it. I believe the youth of this country are our very future. Too long have they been looked down on and given the cold shoulder. So to them, I say, ask not what you can do for your country, ask what you can do for <laughs> M Mr. Attition, what is this crazy contraption you're riding in? <laughs> it is my custom-made election-winning campaign mobile. Beautiful, isn't it? You're at the witness stand, not a campaign podium. So come out of there this instant. <laughs> oh, is he actually going to come out of it? <laughs> He's got the nameplate. Attention, these aren't the people you're meant to convince. Like, I'm- yeah. <laughs> None of these people have- can vote for you. <laughs> Alright, now would the plaintiff's attorney, Mr. Wright, please explain the complaint filed against the defendant. Whoa, it's so weird seeing a civil trial conduction. It's- oh. <laughs> it's so cool, though. I'm- I'm, like, actually surprised they did a civil trial. Mr. Attition's complaint against the defendant is simple. The defendant, one Dirk Sadmati, stole my client's family heirloom, the crystal of Ami Fey. Mr. Attition merely seeks its return. This wouldn't have happened if that archaeologist hadn't kicked the bucket. Phoenix has to investigate who murdered him at the trial. Now this is when Apollo dies and Phoenix has to investigate who murdered him at the trial. <laughs> oh god. I see. Well, Mr. Justice, let's have your opening statement if you would. The defense asserts the item in question is the Founder's Orb, a sacred relic from Kurayan. Hmm. Go on. It seems someone asked an archaeologist, Dr. Archie Buff, to study the orb. Dr. Buff determined that it was a Koreanese national treasure known as the Founder's Orb. The very orb that was stolen from a treasure room in Korean several weeks ago. Why, yes, I saw a news report about that. The theft of a Koreanese national treasure caused quite an uproar in the kingdom. Well, we believe that it was not, in fact, a theft in the traditional sense. But rather that it was a sp that it was spirited out of Korean by someone for Dr. Buff to study. You don't say. And 
Around that time, an acquaintance of the defendant learned of Dr. Buff. He made contact with the doctor, who agreed to hand over the orb. Apparently, the doctor wanted nothing to do with it once he learned it had been stolen. Hmm. It seems you even have a transfer agreement between both parties. Yeah, but then the, the plaintiff is going to assert that it's not the Founder's Orb, it's the Crystal of Omni thing. Mr. Sadmati also agreed to return the Founder's Orb to the Kingdom of Korion. Once the doctor verified it was the real thing... I see. So this dispute centers on whether the item in question is the Founder's Orb or the Crystal of Omni Fey. That in turn will determine the object's rightful owner. I'd better bring my A-game. Going up against Mr. Wright won't be a walk in the park. Hmm. Come to think of it, the name Dirk Sadmati sounds awfully familiar. Not at all, Your Honor. You're imagining things. But I can't recall where I've heard it. <laughs> and we don't do background checks here. Oh, um, it's probably your imagination, Your Honor. <laughs> they actually did it. He's just the tourist, after all. And my dad. Hmm. My imagination, you say. The judge isn't gonna be like, Oh, he has the same last name as the prosecutor. You could say that, that they're related. Don't have to give in that he's, you know, a wanted criminal. Are you sure about this, Apollo? He's a wanted- <laughs> I just said that. He's a wanted criminal in Karayan, isn't he? Yeah, but he's my dad, Athena. In Karayan, yes. Here, he's just a tourist. Uh. Siri? What set you off? What did I say? <laughs> Very well. Let's begin the proceedings. Bailiff, would you bring in the first witness? Uh. Oh, it's Emma. I was so confused. I was like, who is this? Emma? Show us some manners. We're in court. No, it's just... This is a civil trial, so I was surprised to see a detective take the stand. I had her do some digging on Dr. Buff. What for? You disappoint me, Apollo. First, you know I'm not just... First, you know I'm not just a detective. I'm a forensic scientist. Do you try to remember that? Second, you owe Mr. Wright an apology. After all he's done for you, you have some nerve. First, I'm sorry. Second, I'm really just trying to do my job. You'll never get anywhere with that attitude. Take some advice from someone who's been there. Why do I feel like I'm on trial here? Detective Sky, your testimony if you please. The Doctor's Dark Secret. The police have had their eyes on Dr. Buff for some time. And just today, a number of stolen artifacts were discovered in his study. Among them were a priceless urn and a statue that were stolen from the Fae Clan. Okay, so we're just calling the, the doctor a thief. It seems the doctor would do anything for, to study artifacts, including steal them. As for the relic at the center of this dispute, he likely stole it from the Attitian residence. Okay, but why does the Attitian residence have a Fey artifact in the first place? The doctor is a thief? Why am I just hearing about this now? Well, a cat burglar isn't something he- <laughs> Well, cat burglar isn't something he put on his resume. He was more careful than that. But the fact is, he was a classic treasure hunter. A treasure hunter, huh? Like people who have thrilling adventures in exotic places, risking life and limb for glory. 
I doubt Dr. Buff was the star of his own hit movie series, Athena. Out of respect for the dead, I will say that Dr. Buff wasn't doing it to get rich. Apparently, he only wanted to borrow artifacts to study them. He would then uh, return them as soon as his research was finished. According to the doctor's child, he would even repair or restore some of the artifacts he stole before returning them. He believed he was honoring the dead by discovering their history through artifacts. But whatever lofty ideas he ha ideals he held, it makes no difference. Larceny is larceny, I guess. Yes, he certainly sounds no different from a regular thief to me. So, let's say for a moment that the doctor really did moonlight in stealing artifacts. Might he not have stolen the Founder's Orb in Corian and brought it back here himself? Nope, there's no record of him traveling overseas over the past few years. Plus, he couldn't very well leave his reclusive child at home all alone. Then this really must be the Crystal of Amifei. Yeah, he stole it from the Atitian residence, probably so he could study it. This is the left hook I did not need. I bet you never saw that coming, Apollo. When Mr. Wright said the kid gloves were off, he wasn't kidding. Mr. Justice, you may proceed with your cross-examination. Awesome. Thanks, Betty old pal. Well, 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 well. Well, 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 well. <laughs> so much for tuning in to the stream hope you all uh hope you all had a good time it is um i'm losing a lot of steam it is 105 degrees here i am dying hi <laughs> matt how you doing i just finished eating degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Very hot. So I gotta end, but I gotta send you all over to someone. <laughs> bye as well. <laughs> Hi and bye. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. We did. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Well, I'll be back. Well, I'll be back. No. No, man. It's the sun's fault. Sun. <laughs> Thank you for turning up anyway. I appreciate it. <laughs> We're in court finally after so long, after almost drowning in a cave and having to be rescued in the prettiest art ever. Oh my god. 
Oh, the community challenge is 25% complete. Let's go. Thank you for the contribution, Matt, of 2000.